Okay, so if you don't feel like watching my long video where I talk about like all of his buttons and strategies and stuff, um, and you just want to know about his combos and resets, well, this is the video for you. So, what are Tetsu Tetsu's combos? Basically, he has two options. He can either do um, Quark 2 after doing the two hits, and then he can do a red attack. This is a very basic combo you can do off of anything. It's almost impossible to mess up. And then you mash to Quark 1. I'm assuming you know all of his buttons now, so I'm not going to talk about what they are. And that gets about 8,500. You can also make it slightly different if you do a delayed um, tilt quirk one. And that adds a little bit extra damage because of all these hits here. You leave out the red attack though, or else it'll meteor blow early. But um, as I'll explain later, you're not really going to be doing these combos too often because his reset game is what makes him really powerful. So these combos, even though they only do like 8,700 damage, which is still pretty good for a meterless, like very easy combo, um, he can get a lot of damage when he starts doing resets and stuff. And also, no, you don't really want to ever be doing like dash cancels or using supports in his combos because you're not really going to get much extra damage and you're just going to waste resources for like not much more because they meter blow so early. But uh, resets is where Tetsu Tetsu really comes to play. So the two main resets he has uh, after an aerial part of a combo, if he does the second part of his um, Tilt Quirk 1, he can dash off to the- Oh, they're not on recovery. Um, he's left at a lot of hit advantage after the second hit of his Tilt Quirk 1, and the opponent recovers right beside you. So basically, you can get like some of the like most hard-to-avoid recovery resets in the game very easily. Um, I did just mess it up there because I suck at everything when I'm recording, and oh my goodness. <laughs> So yeah, pretend I just did a long aerial combo, and then I can dash up to him, and as soon as he recovers, I can just quickly dash in and get a combo going. And honestly, I can just repeat this over and over again, because... Actually, this is gonna meaty blow, um... But yeah, if you don't you do a combo too long, you can just keep looping this over and over again, and just keep adding, like, this damage to the end of the combo, because they recover right beside you, and honestly, I haven't seen anyone avoid this online yet. Um, I've tested, like... If you time it correctly, the only way you can avoid it is by just guarding. You can't fit in a counter attack, you can't fit in a dash cancel. The only way you can get out of this is by just guarding. And let's be honest, no one really knows how to just guard, especially when it comes to online gameplay where it's so laggy, especially on Xbox servers. Um, so yeah, basically, he just has an infinite then. And if you do feel like being nice, even if you just add this onto like a combo, so like, um, how much damage is this gonna be? Um, it's gonna be a little less damage because I kind of messed that up, but then if I do something like this... So it's like 8,000 damage, and then on top of that 8,000 damage, if you just want to be kind and just like actually do a combo afterwards, you know, this is me being kind here. You can get like 15,000 damage for one rep of the recovery and a lot of the times you can land like two or three in a row so you're getting huge damage so i'll repeat that 15,000 damage for one single recovery that's like almost impossible to avoid is pretty crazy like it's pretty crazy keep in mind though you can mess it up pretty pretty easily like i mess it up sometimes sometimes you do it too quickly or too slowly so the opponent can sidestep or like do something to get out of the way and you miss but if you get the timing down it's very consistent and uh very scary because you can just keep doing it over and over and over again and the opponent will just die if they don't use their supports to break the combo um the other reset he has is after you do any kind of any one of his um wall splatting things so like his tilt quirk one or his quirk two on the ground if i just wait a little bit and then do my aerial tilt quirk two that actually hits the opponent the frame that they are able to be hit after their recovery so as soon as their hitbox is reactivated after their recovery they get hit by the um, Tilt Quirk 2, and they're back in a combo. This means there is absolutely no way for them to fit in a counter-attack, a sidestep, or anything anything like that. And it also kind of messes, like, how the recovery system works, it kind of screws with the timing of Just Guards. So, um, if you do anything like this, you can basically get an infinite combo. And this one, I believe, is genuinely infinite. I've tried to practice it against people that are trying to Just Guard it, but, uh, I haven't seen anyone be able to do it, so theoretically, maybe you can just guard against it, but it is very hard and basically an infinite. So yeah, you just wait a little bit, and as soon as they get hit by that, 
you can just go in for another combo again. You can even go in for your different reset that we did before. You know, you can switch them up one, you know, keep the opponent on their toes. They're not gonna go what kind of reset you go for. And also you can like stand here and block less support, like while you wait. And then as soon as they recover out of there, because they have to, because it's a hard wall splat, you just go for it again. And oh my goodness, I think I've won games, like entire games, just by doing this over and over again. Like, except for when, you know, obviously they use their supports. But a lot of the time, I think I've gotten an 100% combo. Um, not a lot of times. Once I got an 100% combo because the opponent used their supports while, um, like while they were being wall splat. So they were just waiting on the ground, and I was able to block both of their supports that so they called out at the same time. So I blocked them, called the supports, and then later on, I jumped into the air and did this, caught their recovery, and then was just able to do this over and over again, until they died, because this is a genuine loop. And honestly, it's kind of ridiculous, and it really shows the problem with the re like awful recovery system and how flawed it is. But uh, I guess Tetsu Tetsu players aren't complaining that he has an infinite, so woohoo! <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's basically how Tetsu Tetsu is going to combo. You're never going to really finish your combos like we saw before. You're always going to finish either just by, um, um, in the hard, like, ground splat or with the aerial part of the combo with Tilt Quirk 1. And then you dash after them and do something like that. Um, like we showed. And you're going to get big damage that way instead of doing full combos. If you do want to combo into his plus ultra 1, you can do something like this. Oh, oops, damn it! I accidentally did the... You just do the regular version there. You do the mashed version. Oh, was that a bit slow? Hopefully not. Oh, damn it, yeah, it was a little bit slow. It actually worked in both versions as well. So even when he's hardened up, or metaled up, he can do this combo as well. Ah, damn it! <laughs> no, I'm screwing it up because I'm, I'm getting recording stage fright. Come on, just do the combo. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be here all day. It 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 works, I promise. I might just simplify it so we're not here all day. But usually it's not that hard. Usually you can get it pretty. Oh my goodness. Put him in the ground. <laughs> ah! But yeah, that- Whoa, oh my god, I, I can't just not do it now. Okay, that did a few less hits, but um... Damn it, why is this not working? Okay, I'll just do it simpler so that we're not here all day. But you can have the last hit hit and then does like about 14,000 damage. But this only does 12 because I kind of screwed it up. But that's how you can come into the plus ultra one. You can also do it like off of his tilt attack. That does pretty okay damage as well. And honestly, it's probably a bit easier. So actually, I suggest doing this combo instead. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically Tetsu Tetsu. He's pretty simple combo wise, but I like that he's able to, you know, convert off of things, whether he's in the air or in the ground. Oh yeah, wait, I haven't showed how his combos look like when he's on um, metal. Basically, they're the exact same, except he gets a little bit extra damage off of them now. Um, wait, let me do another plus ultra. So, this is what his combos look like when he's metal. It's gonna be the same thing, so if you do decide to go for the full combo and, like, not do any resets, he's actually gonna get, like, 10,000 damage. Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot. You can't do the last hit, because that splats. And then just go for this ender. And this is if just, you just want to go for a regular combo. He gets 10,100 damage meatlessly, which is pretty awesome damage considering when you're metal, you can just mash through your opponent's attacks. And that's 10,000 damage without doing resets. So it's going to be something ridiculous if you are actually <laughs> doing the resets and recoveries and stuff. But yeah, that's basically Tetsu Tetsu. There is combos, there is resets. I hope you enjoyed. Go out and play some Tetsu Tetsu. Thanks for watching.